Mandy Tay, and I am here with some more DIY Cricut inspiration from Pinterest and my old videos. So I wanted to put together this list for kids so you guys can make some fun things for your kids or your nieces and nephews or your grandkids or your sister's kids, which is your nieces and nephews, um, or your friend's kids, or your kids at school, maybe you're a teacher, all these things, great ideas for kids, okay? So let's go. Starting with my old videos, I would say t-shirts. T-shirts and kids, they just go well together. They can never go wrong with a t-shirt. They will like it no matter what you put on it. So make them a t-shirt, any kind of t-shirt. Use all the tutorials that I've done. T-shirts are great for kids. Not, They're not super picky. The paper canvas. So the Ansia Sound Art canvases are amazing, but the paper canvas would be a really fun one for kids to put in their rooms. You can do their favorite character or any of the canvases ideas would work for kids as well. But I thought the paper canvas that we did was pretty fun. Um, tote bags, also adding fun things into the tote bag, just making the tote bag personalized for them and then adding things into the tote bag would be great. Sports shoes, um, the SF Giant shoes I made were super fun and little kids could really care less if they were actually Vans or not. Um, I'm sure they get to the certain level of age where they do start to notice like, hey, these are $5 Walmart shoes. But if you're anything like me, I try to teach my kids like, yeah, explain to your friends, mine were five bucks and yours were $80 and mine looked just as cool. Anyways, it's a learning lesson. But um, monster hats were a really good one too. And using the new Cricut Maker, you can cut the felt super easy, cut little circles and triangles and sew them and buttons and then they're monster hats and they're my favorite. They're so fun and so cute. Okay, so going into the Pinterest board where I've gathered together some awesome things that other people have done so I don't spoil my Christmas gifts that I'm making for everyone else. Um, see, I've battled that every year. I'm like, okay, I wanna make this in a video, but I don't wanna ruin it, so I'm coming up with ideas from other people's brains to bring together and you guys can check out their blogs. Everything's in the Pinterest board. So beanies, we already talked about the monster hats, but you can also do beanies with their names on them. You can also make the beanie with the new Cricut Maker by cutting it out and sewing it and all that good stuff. A cool felt skeleton. I saw this and I thought that that would be really fun if you did all the organs and then the kids can kind of like put them in. This is kind of a range. There's littler kids all the way up to bigger kids. So I would probably make this for a littler kid, but it'd be something fun where they could stick the felt little pieces of the body back onto the skeleton and then they can learn where the pieces of the body are actually in your body. It's just a fun learning little toy felt pillows, so there's tons of different things you can do. We've done one of these already. I did a fox on Millennial Moms, so you guys can check that out. You can also just use any of the Cricut Access pictures and cut them out in felt and sew them together. It's that simple, and use the maker for it. Awesome. Um, I'll probably do a tutorial on that using the maker soon. Felt dollhouse, this one looked pretty fun and it's flat so it doesn't take up a ton of space like a real dollhouse, and then you can put little doodads in there or cut out the little parts of it and the cool thing about felt if you remember when we were kids we would have like felt storyboards and you could just like change them and the kids can play with them it's really fun and then they can play school and show each other and all that good stuff capes i did a video on capes as well so apparently i didn't look through all my videos but capes are super fun for kids i didn't think they were going to be as fun until i actually made one for my nephew and he loved it he was turning eight at the time and i was like does he still like capes i'm not sure he loved it especially because i put a big m on it for malachi and a lightning bolt through it and i made him like a little hat that had these little lightning bolts coming off of it and i put a big m on it he loved it and i didn't have the maker or the cricket at all at the time and now i could probably whip up a ton of them because i do have those things and a mail carrier uh this was a really cute idea so like kids who want to play house or play mail or whatever you could put little letters felt letters and make a mail carrier out of it fire a camp fire um this one's a little different but i do think about it when I think about my some of my nephews who were when they were littler, probably would have had a fun time playing around a fake campfire outside out of felt. And you know, like setting up a tent and having a fake campfire could also make a tent for them. I think that's on my list as well, and it's also on the Pinterest board. Um, suitcase small worlds. This was super cute idea. So you take the suitcase and on the outside you decorate it with just like words that say like 
dinosaur land or Legoland or wherever land and then when you open it up you've decorated it all like that land and their little felt characters and they've got little dinosaurs and you can put little trees and it's just like a little world it's almost like a poly pocket but not like a small but it's kind of big it's like a poly hoodie pocket not like a little pocket. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that. Okay. Uh, monster gloves. I do have this on a video for Millennial Moms as well. Those are super cute. Those are actually fun and I would probably give those in kits for the kids to make them because the kids had so much fun actually making those monster hands rather than actually playing with them. Um, and any of these things you can give in a set where they can make it too. So... If you want to, you know, craft with them, you can get them all the craft supplies to make these things with the kids, too. They they see that as fun, not like you didn't finish my gift. That's mean. So they see it as fun. Um, felt masks. So kind of going along with the cape thing, you can make different masks for the kids. You can put, you know, Super Cooper on it or whoever you're making it for. Sleeping bags, I have a video on this one too, um, but you can make a roll-up pillow for when they go on sleepovers at grandma's house or if your aunt, they can bring it to your house when they come over for sleepovers. It's always fun to like tie in something that has to do with you into it. So it's like, hey, we can enjoy this together and it creates quality time at the same time as giving you a handmade gift that I thought of you when I made it. Um, fold and go car sets. So these are really cool that they kind of like wrap up and you can tie them with the ribbon and you can put like little fake cars. Not, yeah, they're fake cars. They're not real cars. Uh, like matchbox cars, matchbox cars in. Going along with that, you can also make race tracks that the kids can put. You could also cover a whole, I'm, I'm thinking I'm just going to cover a whole wall in felt and just make a bunch of felt things that you can do. You could do a race track. You could do all of that stuff. And then they can ride their cars on it all good and then nerf targets if your kids are nerf gun people and you like to have nerf wars make targets that you put up all over the house or they've got like the spinny ones that you can do so they can play with them outside nerf targets you can do them out of felt you can do them out of uh fabric you could do them out of lots of different things uh lego tracks so Lego tray, not tracks. I was reading car tracks. Okay, Lego tray. So you can make a, a Lego tray that you just line with the bottom of those big Lego sheets and then you put like their name on it, like Spencer's uh, Lego Fantasy World or whatever. And then you can just pair it with a couple sets of Legos, put it all together and then give them that like that. Hopscotch is a fun outdoors game. You could just kind of, you could cut it out with the maker and layer it. You could do it with felt, you could do it with fabric. You could um, put it outside and they can play with it outside or inside depending on how much space you have. An art gallery board, so a board that says like Landis's art gallery and then a little clippy hanger thing where they can clip their art to the bottom of it. A book caddy for the side of their bed. Um, I know my kids love reading at night and they just keep their books in their bed. So a book caddy that they could hang their books alongside their bed would be an awesome one. And the more I talk about these, I'm like, I wanna make all of this stuff, like right now. A measuring board, which is also a video that I've done. Um, the measuring board for the kids. You can see the video right here. And a fork kit, which is something that my sister made for my kids and they still play with it to this day. It's been like five years and they love it. It's just made out of a sheet set and you just sew on some um, straps and you tie it up and it's really simple and innovative. And then stove tubs, the little plastic tubs that you could put vinyl stove on top and fill the tub with like fake food and all that. You could even make the felt food like we were talking about. You make little felt pots and pans and they can have a on the cheap little to go stove top. And I believe that is all the ideas that I compiled. There's a lot of ideas on Pinterest, but I tried to bring together the ones that I actually would consider making for my family and that they would actually love. All the way down from the four-year-olds all the way up to teenagers, because I did a different teenager video. So that is my final list, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope my series on Christmas is helping you. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I love you guys, and don't forget to click subscribe if you have not already. Bye!